lot of my life I've thought that I chose the drums, you know? I was like, I, I did this. I like totally was like, yeah, I'm gonna be a drummer, but the drums kind of chose me. I don't know, there was no other real home for me. You know, I was trying to learn guitar and piano and it just like, my dumb brain couldn't, I don't know, I, I was a kid. It's like you were delivered this like sense of like meaning or like great hope, you know, like f for me that's what it is. It's like seeing or like going to a concert and experiencing something that like makes you want to do something, you know, gives it like lights a fire under your ass, but not like in a, you know, oh, I have to do this sort of way, but like I have to do this, like that's passion. I was pretty lucky in the sense that my dad was a professional guitarist as well as um, owned a music store. So I had a lot of resources at my fingertips or was exposed to a lot of, um, you know, music and that culture, you know, and, and learning. Um, then when I was 14, uh, Joe, I came in contact with Joe Salins, and he was playing at uh, my dad's cafe and playing bass. He would play keyboards and do it at the same time and then play drum kit and then came over with the djembe and then like handed it, you know, or like put it in front of me and I was just like, ah, like showed him what I could and that was that was really inspiring for me to see a guy like that, like see potential in me. And like, he was like, you know, when I was slacking off, he was like, you know, I'm doing, I'm like putting my time in, you know, so show me that you're gonna put your time in. And um, it's like, what else would you wanna do? And I was like, nothing else. And he's like, then what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> right, so like I, you know, for a kid, that's really hard thinking, but like, he kind of helped me to think more like that. I've had a lot of education in different styles. Um, jazz, Latin, funk, R&B, gospel, rock, metal, um, punk, pop, country, whatever. But like all that stuff, you know, is like there. You know, it's just waiting to be cultured, right? It's already a culture. Each one of those genres is already a culture. So now it's up to me to take each one of those and start culturing them myself, mixing them myself. Um, I think that happens internally and then what you're hearing that I, I see that in Tosin as well as Javier that has happened in them internally like they're not you know forcing these th these elements to merge they're they've done that naturally you know first thing I love about Tama is the hyperdrive toms because I'm short and I love 22 inch bass drums and it's really hard to position the toms when you don't have those when you're as short as I am and you got like huge toms. Another thing is their bubinga. Like I originally was watching Ronald Bruner like years ago. Um, when I was in college, I was like 19 or 20, and he was playing Bubinga, and I was like, that sound. So like I started researching, you know, um, you know, the, all the stuff on their site, and I was like, this is the kit I want. I want the Bubinga Elite kit. And like, I uh, started mapping it out, like how much the, you know, I got a 
the retail price is and I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this thing and that, uh, you know, I was gonna buy it one piece at a time and I bought the floor tom and the floor tom like cost me like 700 bucks or something because <laughs> it's like the top tier. I was like, forget all the other stuff, like I'm gonna go for the top tier. I, I could have gotten the whole kit, but instead I was like, I want the really nice floor tom. I want like, you know, but I still played it and loved it. And for me, the acrylic packs a nice punch. It has this attack that's like really clear. I, I know the drums are clear and it might be like, I'm just saying that cause they're, yes, they're very clear and they're, it's got a, like a hard sound, or, but uh, for real. And there's a nice mid tone um, and it, it doesn't like ring out that long. These shells kind of eliminate that. And with the controlled sound heads, it's like perfect. Like it was good with just regular um, clear Emperor, but this is like next level. And it looks sicker too. It looks way sick. I mean, look at the black dots. I love my own. I'm looking forward to the next moment. I'm like trying to create that, but a lot of my best moments, I think were like by myself <laughs> in the practice room, you know? Like where I've like discovered something, you know? And like been like, wow, I, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know that was like, I don't know, yeah, those moments. Thank you.